Howdy, fellows. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh, this is Andre Harper, your Fuse Pastor, and this is me uh, kind of showing you uh, how to navigate um, Planning Center. Okay? So, uh, usually, when you guys get a request to serve, to play in the band, uh, you get an email or you get a text message. Uh, what I'm about to show you is going to talk and uh, refer to the email portion. So this is my email. This computer is going to look a lot different than yours, but wh whatever you look at your email through on your computer, it's going to be the same thing. Um, your email should look something like this. It should say, hi, your name right here. So hi, Emily. Hi, Haley. Hi, Ian, Rebecca, whoever it is that's serving. Hi, whatever. You have been placed on the schedule for the following dates. To respond um, or simply view this schedule, please click the appropriate button below. And so here's where you go. If you want to accept it, you hit right here. If you want to view the plan, which shows you the songs we're going to be doing, the order they're going to be in, and all the, the changes, you can just hit this view plan button right here. Again, this screen should look the same on every computer this uh, message right here will always look the same everything over here is going to be different and right here but this screen is universal it always kind of looks the same so I was scheduled for April 26 which is this Sunday to preach right here and here is the service time fuse at 10 30 a.m. so I'm gonna go ahead and accept that I'm gonna hit accept and then what happens is it takes me straight to the planning center uh, website. So if you look right here, this is this is a plan so far for this coming weekend. If you're not scheduled, please ignore <coughs> stuff on here for this weekend. But you can see where it confirms um, that that I have confirmed that I'm going to be preaching. It has that check mark, that green check mark. Also has a check mark that says I'm gonna be playing the hand drums right and you have all these updates coming in right now saying I've been I've been confirmed so this is what it should look like on your computer if you're going off of a computer which I'd recommend because there's so many different options right there in front of you it's easier to see it's a bigger screen but we'll get to the um, phone how to view it on your phone in a, in a minute so here are the songs that we that we are doing this weekend, and uh, here are the people over here that are scheduled to serve. So if you look here, you, you realize we don't have anybody to serve in tech just yet. Um, so I'm going to make that invisible. But if you look at the band, we've got Ian Hutcherson, Haley Wright. Um, you guys haven't confirmed yet. We have Timothy Keppel also hasn't confirmed and uh, I've confirmed, Emily has confirmed, of all these coaches down here that should be there that haven't confirmed. Um, and then you have some more people that are going to be doing some other stuff like Grant that has confirmed. So you've seen how to confirm on your computer going from your email. It's a simple click of the button and it brings you right to this page. Now if you're playing in the band, these this right here, these two songs, or whatever songs you see in like blue, um, that's that's going to be your main focus. Okay, so when you practice, whenever I say, "Hey, listen to the original version," make sure you're practicing at home. Whenever Nathan is encouraging you to do that as well, uh, this is where you go on your computer. You go, you find that song. So if you're going to practice all the poor and powerless, you'd come over here and you see this gray square with the number in it. Sometimes the number is going to be higher than four. Just all depends on how many attachments are in there. And for this song, there's four attachments. There is a lyrics attachment that only has the lyrics to the song, doesn't have the, the key or the chords or whatever, just the lyrics. And then down here is a YouTube attachment that has the original version of the song and so if you've never heard the song before if you're not as familiar with the song you always want to go either to the YouTube version or a Spotify 
attachment or whatever it is on here that can allow you to play the song. So I'm going to hit this attachment real quick so you can just see what that looks like. So here it is, push me right into YouTube and here's the original version, All the Poor and Powerless performed by All Sons and Daughters. You love our greatest, now try our latest. Olive Garden's irresistible just a quick duo. little ad. You can skip it if there's an option right here, but we'll have to just wait this one out. Okay, so here's the original version for all the poor of Powerless. Alright, I'm going to stop it right here, but you guys already have an idea of how to, how to navigate um, to get to here. And once you get here, you, you listen this as much as you can. You listen to the original version to get it engraved in your head, so that way when you come here and you start practicing, you know the order of the song, you know the timing, you know, you know what, what the, the chorus and the bridge and the verses sound like, you, you know the intro, the outro, I mean you know everything that you need to know and it's going to put you in a position to succeed um, the more you listen to these songs on your own time okay so that's that's how you hit the YouTube attachment to hear the original version but like I said there could be other versions on there not just YouTube but on Spotify or an mp3 file that you can just easily get to so I'm gonna head back to the planning center um, website. So that's just for all the poor and powerless. If you come down here to Hallelujah Our God Reigns, it can be the same thing. It has it has attachments. So it has the song uh, with the lyrics, with just the lyrics, no chords or anything. It has a Spotify attachment, has the YouTube attachment, and you'd see something similar to what we saw when we went to All the Poor and Powerless on YouTube. And if you go down here, the last attachment is usually the one that has the the chords or the keys or whatever you're going to be actually playing all those notes. And so that's what you see right here um, at the last option. And it would be the same thing for all the poor and powerless all the way down. You see these two options and you'd want to go with the one that says A because that's what it's, it's in. You don't want to mess with the whole capo stuff unless told otherwise. So we would click on this or you would click on this and here's what happens. It brings up the music sheet, the same one that I print off for you guys or the same one that Nate prints off. This is where we get it. So if you're like, I want to practice this but I don't have all the, the, the song sheet, the music, you click that. It takes a while to load but this is what it will look like. This looks familiar, doesn't it? All the poor and powerless has the order right here, the intro, verse 1, chorus 1, turnaround, verse 2, chorus 2, bridge, 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 bridge. But it has all of the, the chords on here, or all the, the stuff that you would, you would play. Okay, and this is what we print off for you guys all the time when you, when you do um, the fuse band. Okay, so I'm going to close out of this, and we're going to go back to here. Now let's say you are on the Planning Center um, website and you're like, well, Andre, I'm not scheduled to play this weekend um, on April 26th or 25th, but I'm, I'm scheduled to play on May 10th. Well, these arrows right here uh, either go a week forward or a week backward. So if you hit this arrow that goes to the right, you're going to go to the following week. Okay, so far nothing has been scheduled yet. If you hit the other arrow, you go to May 10th. Ooh, now we have a whole bunch of stuff going on right here. We have the four songs that you guys um, are, are practicing for the full band. We have Exalted One, This Is Amazing Grace, Great I Am, Here's My Heart. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have people over here that have already... Um, confirmed but we have people that hasn't 
confirmed uh, just yet. So again, come over here. You see previous two songs that we looked at had four in this gray box. This has nine, this has nine, this has 14 and 13 and 15, just different numbers. It's all a matter of how many attachments are on there. Okay, so this means it has nine attachments, which is awesome. you got a whole bunch of stuff you can pick from depending on, on who you are. So again, if you want to go to the original version of um, Exalted One, you hit this YouTube attachment and it takes you right there. If you're playing drums, so like Noah, he could hit this attachment and it would take him to uh, a tutorial which is going to show him how to play drums for this song. Um, if you're Emily or Rory and all you're going to do is sing, Exalted One Lyrics PDF just gives you the words. And then um, this stuff with the cues um, and the alto, this is harmony. So Rory would, would, would be good in here, but nobody else would really benefit from this except for Rory and maybe Emily. And right here is something you should, you really don't want. It's something that big church uses, the bigger bands will use as a part of their band. Uh, but Spotify, again, another YouTube attachment. And then right here, again, where you want to be, exalted one in the key that you're going to be playing. You hit this key or you hit this attachment takes a few seconds but it brings it right up the same sheet that you're you're familiar with the same sheet that you play with most most of the time when you play in the fuse band okay I'm gonna close out of that again but for this big band coming up this is where you guys are gonna be the practices that we do on Wednesdays um, these are the songs that we're practicing and that's how you get to see the attachments. That's how you get to practice on your own and to make sure that when you get here on the Wednesdays when we do practice or if you are fortunate enough to where um, I schedule you to play on the weekend and I just expect you to show up and know your stuff, um, that's a huge responsibility. And I expect you to be in here practicing all of these songs so when we get here on Sunday mornings at 9 you already know your part and it's will it will be a smooth um, rehearsal okay uh, I think that concludes most of what I want to show you guys most of what you want to learn um, I wouldn't mess with too much on here because you could really do yourself some damage if you if you try to do too much okay but um, let's head back so we're gonna head, hit this left arrow button going back to this coming weekend and uh, again Ian is scheduled hasn't confirmed yet Haley is scheduled hasn't confirmed Timothy Keppel is scheduled he hasn't confirmed we need these people to confirm uh, by the end of the day today so that way we can be in a good spot uh, for this weekend but uh, if you guys have any questions um, holler at me and I'll be happy to answer them. I hope this was helpful. Um, Planning Center has a lot to offer, guys. So feel free if you're like, man, I want to learn more about this. I'd be happy to teach you. Some of you guys got nothing going on after school. So feel free to come on in at 3.30. Let me know you're coming in and I'll, I'll show you some more tricks and some more stuff that you need to. That would be good to learn. Okay? Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.